Hi everybody and welcome. Today I have the LG Smart Monitor and I'm going to tell you how to do a first setup of your system. So as you can see here we have the language and we can select here our preferred language. By default is the English selected but we can go down using our button if you want to select any other language. We have a lot of languages here. I will select English. Now next by going right. Here we can select our our region, country where we are in. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, uh, countries here. Let's select our United States or Poland or England or any other. Let me select Poland, for example. And let's go to the next one. Here, as you can see, we have audio guidance, which is by default turned on. We can turn it on uh, using no. I mean, we can turn it yes or, yes or no. Here, we can set up the monitor using our mobile device or monitor. I will go uh, with the monitor, but you can download the LG Think app to set up it with your, uh, with your monitor itself. Here, we have to click next. Now we can uh, now we can uh, connect to our Wi-Fi network. We just have to select our preferred one and enter password. Now, as you can see, after our inserting our password, we can see that we are connected to our Wi-Fi. Now we have to agree for terms and conditions, but at first they have to be loaded in. And here, as you can see, we have the, ter the terms and conditions. We have to agree for them using the next button. And here we have to select all the uh, terms and conditions. As you can see, I have this information in Polish. It's because I selected my region, my country as Polish. And you can set, set it as your own language and then agree. Here, as you can see, we have user environment analysis and the way to watch monitor. We have none and none. <laughs> you can go to the next. And here we have software, automatic update. When updating the software automatically, function updates on the security part of the latest software are applied to the monitor as well. We can either disable or enable our automa automatic software updates using this switch by clicking on them, as you can see. I will leave it as it is and click next. Here, as you can see, we can download the LG account on our phone and we can log in to our account. We can skip it or we can do it. I will skip it for the safety reasons. As you can see, I didn't succeed to link my LG uh, account with my WebOS LG Miner, but that's not really the case. As you can see now, it's working. That's it, hope it helps you and goodbye.